Aaron, one of my most popular segments on the show. He's a licensed marriage and family therapist. Now, with that being said, there are a lot of myths out there about uh, marriage and family therapy, and we're going to debunk some of those today. But if you have questions, if you have an issue in your family or uh, with your kiddos, maybe you have a blended family, whatever the case may be, 571-5263, you will have the professional help of Dr. Eli Karam. All right, Dr. Karam, we've opened up the phone lines a little bit, but um, uh, before I get into today's topic, a little bit about the issues that you do handle. There are folks out there who may have some questions. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about uh, Yeah, that. marriage and family therapist, as we've been saying uh, all along uh, on these segments. Uh, there's about 400 of them in the state of Kentucky, and you're looking with someone that has an LMFT after their name. That means License and Marriage and Family Therapist, and they are trained uh, in one of the big five mental health disciplines, along with social workers, counselors, psychiatrists, uh, uh, to be able to uh, work with you. And they work in a certain way. They work relationally. And in fact, most people think of one of our first myths is that you need to be either married or in a family to see an MFT. That's not true. As we said, MFTs are going to work with you relationally. So they work with just as many individuals, if not more, as they do families, John. So in fact, in national survey, uh, most MFTs caseload is over 50% individuals. And they're going to work with you from a relational frame in a whole systemic context. So what does that mean? It means they're going to look at you, what's going on at home, what's going on at work, at school and all of your interpersonal relationships and form a kind of complete holistic picture of you. And uh, you know, they are also going to be able to work with your significant others when needed. Uh, another myth that we have, if, if we can look at our tips, is therapy goes on forever. Most people, they have a stigma that if we do this, John, it, this is something, <laughs> it's going to last forever. I don't want to do it. And that's right. not necessarily true. Many models of marriage and family therapy are designed to be solution focused and brief by nature. And the fact that they're going to highlight the presenting problem and work with you or all your significant others around that to either achievable solutions or uh, kind of manageable ways to deal with it. So therapy does not have to go on forever. In fact, you should know within the first, you form what we call an alliance or a supportive therapy therapeutic relationship within the first three to four sessions. So you should be feeling some relief as far as movement uh, and also not only relief, kind of are we working on the same page? Do we have the same goals for this therapy? My therapist and me, my significant other or others and me. Uh, and you should also um, be able to see some results fairly early on. Um, and I'm talking about, again, a 50 minute sessions is how most marriage and family therapists work weekly. And after you get going, people space them out, uh, you know, monthly and uh, people come to see me I've been back in Louisville for five years it's like the family doctor model they'll come at different points uh, throughout the life cycle uh, their kids are getting ready to launch for school um, they're having an issue in their marriage so they kind of come in for checkups after they get these initial skills so another myth that people have is that uh, therapy is only for people with serious mental problems John and while MFTs do not ignore a mental illness or psychopathology if it's staring us in the face. Uh, we see people for strength and health and most marriage and family therapists work with the working well. Again, families that are having uh, or individuals that are having uh, normal developmental kind of roadblocks, uh, meaning there's a transition point, they're starting a relationship, they're exiting a relationship. Um, uh, they are dealing with uh, their family of origin, the family that they grew up in, uh, an elder parent, as we talked about a few weeks ago. So you come to see a marriage and family therapist at these routine transition points in the family life cycle, okay? Uh, another thing, therapy is only for the wealthy. We get this a lot. Uh, and that is not true in the sense that most uh, marriage and family therapists are on a full a panel of insurances, meaning if you have insurance, if you have mental health benefits, you can see a marriage and family therapist. Also, many uh, places, whether they be private practitioners or uh, larger groups uh, like seven counties or family and children's, two of the larger groups in the Wave Country area, have sliding scale uh, services so they will see you based on your income level so just because you do not have a lot of extra income uh, and you're stuck with your family or in your important relationships that's not a reason not to seek help and see a marriage and family therapist and finally uh, our last myth is that every problem you bring to therapy must be solved now this is uh, very challenging for some people because there are many things that happened in the past in your relationship in the family that you grew up in which you can't change uh, you know uh, someone had an affair a family member had 
had an illness, no matter how many things you would like to go back, that you cannot change time. So successful uh, therapists and clients, uh, they figure out what's solvable, and there's some uh, marital research that says really uh, only 31% of marital problems are actually solvable. Uh, the rest, uh, the 69%, the vast majority, take tolerance or acceptance. So uh, in a good therapy, John, you're going to figure out uh, what is solvable and what needs tolerance and acceptance. And your therapist is going to collaborate with you and your significant others in a way uh, to make that happen. Dr. Karam, I would think a lot of these myths are started by folks who are perhaps a little bit reluctant, a little bit of pushback from folks who don't want to see a therapist anyway. So it's, it's kind of used as an excuse. It's like, well, I know this is going to take a while. or you know, I don't know, I, I've heard this is going to be very expensive. All of these are not true, but perhaps they're really just excuses not to see a therapist. I have a question for you, and I think okay. we can get to it real quickly. Sam is with us. Sam, good afternoon, and welcome to the show. Sam. Hello. Hello, Sam. You have a question for Dr. Karam? Uh, hello, doctor. Um, yes, I. my mother has invited um, myself and my daughter on a trip to Hawaii, and I am currently divorced. And my ex-wife is like completely resistant to letting my daughter come with us. And is there anything you could say that might, you know, the way I could approach her with the question or some kind of compromise we could come up with, anything like that? Sure, and I think a lot of that depends on what type of co-parenting relationship you have with your ex. And the best way to approach it is to frame it in the best interest of the child. So um, the idea that, hey, this could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to go to Hawaii, and we'd really like this experience uh, for my uh, for our daughter and this is really not a threat to you you know you are a co-parent I I, uh, I understand that you could feel slighted and this is not my mom trying to get one over on you or try to kind of steal your thunder so it comes to really framing it in the best interest of your daughter and appealing uh, to your wife on that level and also making sure your mom uh, if your mom and your uh, ex-wife have a conflictual relationship it makes it harder for you trying to do the co-parenting I, ho I hope that works out for you sam i hope you can uh, approach your uh, co-parent your ex-wife with that so many thank questions you very thank you very much sam so many questions so little time i encourage you to go to the following website if you have a question would like to locate a therapist first of all Kentucky Association of Marriage and Family Therapists, that's kamft.org, kamft.org, or if you'd like to locate a therapist, we have another website for you, therapistlocator.net, correct? Right, John, that's going to give you all of the licensed marriage and family therapists in Kentucky. You simply put in your zip code, it will pop up there. You can check out the individual therapist profiles and, uh, and sometimes websites if they have those. And the other thing you can do, a lot of our emails, which we didn't get to today, are generated by you, the uh, Wave 3 uh, Listens viewer. So you can send us emails anytime you want. You can go to the website, kmft.org, or you can go directly to send us an email at kmft at insightbb.com and that fuels a lot what we're going to talk about and actually next time I'm on in a couple weeks we're going to have a double segment uh, where we're going to talk about technology and relationships including texting which gets a lot of people into trouble and we'll, we'll also uh, we'll also have a, a, a full segment to take multiple calls. Uh, I don't mean to laugh but I hear yeah. so many of these stories I you know host a radio show as well and I hear so many of these stories I know it's serious but it could be a lot of fun so we're gonna have a double segment soon and don't forget KAMFT.org for your questions for Dr. Eli Karam. All right, coming up, you may have heard a lot about mini dental implants. I have the expert in the house, one of the pioneers in the field. That's Dr. Larry Stroud. He's coming up next. I want to encourage you to give $10 to the Red Cross. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is text Red Cross to 90999. You'll automatically give $10. Or if you prefer going the Salvation Army route, I'll get it out today. Uh, $10 text donations. All you have to do is text the word STORM to 80888. We here at Wave 3 encourage you to give to the folks in Oklahoma. We'll be right back on Wave 3 Listings.